Hey, this is Troy from eSigmod Canada. Today we're going to take you through how to clean the Vision V3 clearomizers. Alright, here we have the Vision V3 clearomizer. Dirty piece of paper towel. Warm water. Okay, on the drip tip here, a little silicon o-ring. Uh, you don't want to lose that. Just grab it by the base. Unscrew the top or the container. Good rinse. All right. You take this silicon with the little metal nipple sticking out there. You don't want to lose the uh, the metal piece. It's being stubborn because my hands are slippery. All right. There it is. Give it a rinse. Don't lose the metal piece down the sink. And you can just put it aside on here. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's, uh, you can either pre-rinse the stem and head assembly. Unscrew it. Be mindful not to touch your wicks. To, it'll, it'll fray them. They are somewhat delicate. Give it a good rinse. Don't let the water pound it too hard. Okay. Rinse the stem. Get everything good and rinsed. It doesn't take much. And I like to rinse the uh, stuff in quickly in cold water. Uh, hot water tends to have more mineral content. Okay. You don't want to taste bad in the whisk. So. Cold water. Tube. Stem the head. Everything. Put cold water in. Okay. All right. Now we're just gonna like shake everything out, dry it off. These things turn right back to brand new, basically, after you clean them. Right. Real good. How many usage do you think you can get out of a head with standard juice? And taking care of it, making sure not to let it get too dirty, and cleaning it regularly, just quite a while. Three or four weeks, maybe? At least. Okay. But not all heads are created equal. Right. I want to blow the water out of your little cap here. Okay. I get the water out of the stem. That's where your battery goes, so don't want it to be wet. Okay, now when it comes to drying the wicks. All right. As you can see, this, this wick is already a little bit frayed, just to go to show you how they are delicate. So, you know, it's still all right though. So place it down. Gently, try not to put any tension on the wick and gently just tap that wick dry. On the side here. Same thing with the other side. You just don't want to put your finger right against it and push down so it's putting tension on the wick. Okay. 
Right. Okay, I see what you've done there. Yeah. And just pick a new spot on the paper towel, tap it again. Make sure they're good and dry. Okay. All right, now you just give it a little blow out. Make sure it's good. Okay. So now we're just going to put it back together. Two degree here. So head first? Yeah, so just put the head on the stem. And uh, take your e-cig battery, have a puff. Mm-hmm. Good idea. Now, we're going to put this stem, open no container, with the head on it, onto the battery. Right. And so we no cover. are going to... Just with the head on. Dry it and burn any residue that's left off the wick. And it'll be nice and tasty after. So, can you, can you see down there, my friend? Mm. I'm going to fire the battery. You, you can hear the water hiss while it yeah. evaporates. Pretty quick, this coil's going to light up. Yeah. Don't worry, see. the wick's not going to burn. You want to pulse that, get it nice and warm. So this is to burn the see excess if, water out? Well, there could be, yeah, to dry it, to and get residue. the water out. There could be residue on the wicks, especially if you don't clean it for a long time and get some burnt tasting hits on occasion. There's going to be a bit of residue on the coil. Right. I, I like to pulse it a few times. Sometimes I even turn the voltage up a little bit. This is a 1.8 head. I'll take it to 3.6 and uh, get it a little bit hotter. Okay. I'm not smelling any, I'm not seeing any vape smoke or nothing anymore. So this, this head is uh, good and clean. Nice. Uh, if, you want, if your head was super dirty, you could rinse it again and dry it again. But uh, normally you don't need to do that, so let's just put this back on. Be careful not to catch your wicks. This is a damaged wick, it's fallen apart a bit, but you don't want to get your wicks in the threads when you're connecting the tube to the stem. Right. And make sure that it threads on straight because I have seen it on crooked once, just so you know. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Here's what happens when you screw up a bit. <laughs> Take the tube back oh, off. Forgot the uh... forgot the cap. It happens on occasion. I'll show you a little something with the cap too while we're putting it on. All right. Sometimes you put the cap on, and the the metal piece inside won't be quite flush. So just just pinch the top of the cap a bit, and it, it'll squeeze that metal piece down. And make sure the cap is like in position. There's a little lip on this. You can't go down past mm -hmm. that. That's exactly right. Now we can put the tube back on, and we'll be in business. Okay. All you need to do now is fill it up with your favorite juice and let it, let and it sit for a few minutes. Let it sit for a few minutes to wick in. And uh, when you first hit it, there might be like a tiny bit of moisture left in it. it, it it's, like, it's like when you fill it the first time. It, it might take a few puffs before it's optimal. But mm -hmm. uh, that's basically it to cleaning a, uh, a Vision uh, V3 Clearmizer. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.